So now that we have already created forms and we have uh, hopefully added some submission to our projects, uh, we're going to have a look at the general interface like, of, of Kobo, the, the rest. First of all, we have here the account settings where we can have like, we have our, our, our username, our email, and then we can have changed the language of our Kobo, um, Kobo interface. Now it's in Spanish. I'm going to go back to English. And we can change some account settings. We can have uh, required notification to see the form and submit data. So people, we have to actually log in with our credentials or their credentials, and then we will give them permissions. And we can have like information, we can modify password and other things. We can even put like social media if you want. Um, take changes and then once we have done that, we can we can go to um, to uh, to new form. And in new form, we talked before we have four different ways of getting a new form. Before we did build from scratch, but now we could use a template. For example, if we have it in our library, and in this case, I have a, a dummy template. So I could click in this one and then go to next. And then if you see, it will. Send, send me to the same quest, same box when I click in the add new from scratch where I will put the, temp, the, the name, the description, the country and everything. You could also go ahead and have it from a, an XLS form. You have, you remember in, in the previous uh, uh, chapters, I think it's in three, uh, chapter three advanced form. We have said that you have this XLS form that has all the information. So here, for example, I have one that I can upload and then in a blink of an eye everything is set up there uh, this if you get like from from somebody if you get this file you can just up upload it and it will be in your database or if you get it from uh, from previous places like for example from uh, download XLS and then you can use it again and the last one is uh, import via XLX XLS uh, form via URL. So if you have your form somewhere in a website, you can refer it here. And then you have a, an article here on how to solve little problems that uh, may arise when you're doing this. In my case, for example, I have uh, this file that I have created, MLAWXLS. I can click in share, it's in Spanish, share, and then create a, a, a link. And it will give me the link. I will copy, copy it, come to the project, paste here, and then I will change this DL equal zero to one. Why? Because they say so here in the website that I that is linked. You have to change this by this. So I do, so I import it, and now it's retrieving the form. So this is a way if you want to share with many people and then they can get it, but it will be separate instances. So, um, but if people is like collaborating in a, in a, in a form, you could use this one and then the last one can update it or something like this. Uh, so this is all the, all the, all the ways that you can use for, for having this. Then I want to make a little bit the difference between what is deployed draft and archive. When we first create a new project, it's set up here as a draft. It means that it never, we never got data out of it. Once you have this and you deploy it, it becomes deployed. And in deployed is where you have active forms, forms that you're using, that you are collecting data for. And, and people can submit data and, and everything. Once you have finished that, in the settings, you can go and archive data. And then is when your form will not accept any more submissions for that time. So for example, if you have a baseline and endline form, a cap survey in the beginning and the end of your project, maybe you run it first in January, you archive it until December, and then you deploy again in December and then archive it again once you have done your data collection. So you don't get any 
accidental submissions. This is a little bit the difference between deployed and archive thingy. The data is still available. You can see it, you can navigate through it, you can do everything, but you cannot submit. There is another interesting thing you can do here. You can tag things just like we did in the library. And then if we tag, for example, here, we can tag this as a test. And this one, we can tag it also as a test. And then probably not always works with me, but if we put here test, we will have rank and test, right? Everything that contain test, 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 and also this one that is tag. Maybe we can, we can try differently because I think it didn't go very well. This one, if I tag this as dog, for example, let me, let me try it. It has to be refresh. So if I tag here dog, sure enough, it comes here because it has this tag, but I'm going to remove it. I don't know what's going on now. It's just showing me the test. Well, there's a little problem here, but this is all.